Everything we believe Hey what's up everybody, it's your boy Mr. Coast, Coast from Gaming, whichever you guys prefer in today's video I am going to be showing you some really nice, um, some iMovie tips, sorry, I could not think for a minute, brain fart, <laughs> it happens uh, Before I get into this video, I need you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, and Comment what you think of the video, or comment later on the video once we get further down the line. Don't forget to subscribe, from, put on post notifications if you guys are curious what current subscribers I am at right now. But I am at 1359 to give you guys an idea how quickly I am growing if you guys are watching this like a few months down the line or a year later. Anyways, let's get into this video. Now, basically, this this little hub, My Media, is where you have like all the media you've been using on your channel and all that all that stuff. Now you can change the audio, you can make it louder, you can, there's a ton of stuff. I know for a fact you can stack like two kinds, uh, two audio things, so you can have commentary and music on top, like so, but I cannot let you guys hear on the how to do Twitter stuff yet, not just, or how, to, how YouTube money works anymore. You can do color corrections, all that, you can either make it, you can make the frames a lot smaller, where you see a crap ton more and you can edit it out a lot better and there's a ton of features on this like the uh, sound changing stuff like the equalizers they're very useful background noise is useful the these I can help lower the clips of the videos this stabilizes it which is really useful these are used for pictures or you can do what I do where he does the zoom in like so I can zoom in really quick, and it's just zooming in ever so slowly throughout the video, because it's slowly but surely zooming in. As it gets further along, it zooms in more and more. But I like that, not at least not on gameplay. You can also do color corrections, which does make can make gameplay and actual footage a lot better looking. You can also do. Um, Overlays on footage. I'm not going for audio. I'm going for footage. <laughs> Clip filters. Very useful. I enjoy using them a lot. That was real bright. See, this makes it have more of a different kind of look. For this gameplay specifically, I might use Cold World. Makes it seem a little bit different. But more than anything, I wouldn't really use any filters for Skyrim itself. I'd just make the game a little bit darker because I think it looks a little bit better if it's a little bit darker and has like darker with like a little bit warmer colors I think it looks a lot better but that's just me personally and uh, there's actually a really cool feature I like to use I use it in almost all my videos to get that overlay there it is to get this now this one has a ton of different little features it has all the same effects you can do in a normal movie except you can do cutaway green screen split screen and picture in picture the difference is cutaway literally like cuts away. Um, green screen gets rid of the green or blue, and makes sure it just has that little video right there. Split screen literally splits it in half. Uh, what I really enjoy is picture in picture. I use for face cams, and you can move it where it's nice and even. I tend to use that quite a bit with some how-to videos or tip videos, and. Um, another thing that you guys could use, I make, I've made my intro with transition and titles in the background. I didn't use backgrounds, I used transition and titles. That's how I made my intro, honest, actually. I used a movie. Um, these are really useful for um, intros, switching to other clips. You can use it for montages. I use them in a, like, a couple montages. Um, there's actually just a ton of features with iMovie, and the more and more you use it, the better it is. The longer the footage, the longer it's, kind of it's going to take to render. You can Don't forget to delete your events after a little bit to, one, save up on memory. Two, clears makes your computer a little bit faster. It just helps a lot, and you can have more than one project going at one time, which is another cool thing. But I personally do the file. I don't know why it says green screen effect. But, um... And you can change it, all that fun stuff, make it change, take more memory, take less memory. But remember, more memory it takes, the kind of more uh, longer it takes to render. Now this right here, I really enjoy because you can change, you can change the mic you're using, you can change the settings it's using, and you can actually record um, commentary 
through iMovie instead of using I sometimes been I've been trying to use Audacity. Not a huge fan of it, and I kind of just stopped because it, honestly I don't enjoy it. But whatever people use, people use. And it could be good, could be bad. I I'm not personally not a huge fan of using it right now. Um, if you guys wonder, I'm using Record. I'm using OBS. I will be making a tutorial video how to use OBS. Um, anyways, if you guys this far in the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It means a lot to me. And don't forget to check out BLP3 TV. His channel is really rad. His vlogs are great. Um, if you guys want a super in-depth video, I will gladly make one. Just comment and let me know. I will do like a really, really in-depth video and tutorials on how to make intros and other stuff if you guys are interested. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and peace out. Have an amazing day. Yeah.